song, I uh, uh, has a funny story. I will tell very quickly if I've got that much time left. Um, great. I uh, uh, I was in Scotland in 2002 or so, um, and I had decided to go to the island where my persona is from, and it's called Gia, and it's the southmost member of the Hebrides chain. It's a very small island. Gia means God's island, small g, and um, it was. Uh, a really long run to get there and a really long run to get back because you have to go all the way to the north end of Scotland and all the way back down the Campbellton Road, which is down the other side of the mountains from Glasgow. And so um, I had managed to get there and get across and it, uh, as I arrived at the island to see all the things I wanted to see, it started to pour with rain. And so I got on a bicycle that I rented from the local hotel and I biked around the island and I biked around the island and I saw all these little monuments I wanted to look at. And the last one I wanted to see was at the top of the tallest part of the mountain. And it's called Kriak Bon, which means the pinnacle of ravens. And so I climbed, th went through a farmer's field, passed through various cattle pens, climbed over hedges, pushed my way through brambles, climbed up this mountain, about 800 feet or so, you know, a little higher up this flat side of the mountain. And I got to the top and it's pouring rain. And I look around and I see the entire island laid out in front of me. And I think, how the hell do I get down to this? <laughs> I was 800 feet up a sheer cliff in the rain, and so I thought to myself, there's 12 feet of brambles at the bottom of this. When I die, no one will ever find me. <laughs> and so the hour of climbing up became four hours of climbing down in the dark, and I pulled myself through the bramble bushes, ripping my boots, my clothing, etc., to pieces, and I walked through, and I walked into a, a, a pasture where those bulls, the cows turned out to be bulls, <laughs> and I ran back to my bicycle, and I got to the bike, and the children of the farmer whose land I had trespassed on to do all of this said, what were you doing? <laughs> and I said, I, I, I was climbing the mountain. And they said, why would you do that? And I said, well, because I wanted to see the whole island from the top of the mountain. Well, why didn't you take the road? <laughs> and I said, I'm sorry, there's a road? And he said, yeah, it's around back. It's just over there. It's a road. It goes all the way up the top. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, well, I didn't know there was a road to see. I have this 1942 guidebook that I've had with me since I developed my persona. Never mind, anyway. So. <laughs> and I got on my bicycle and I began bleeding to pedal back towards my hotel. And I hear the little girl who's standing with him say, Do you think he's daft? <laughs> and the little boy says, Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. <laughs> so, I, so I pulled into the hotel on my bicycle and I walked in. And the lady looked, the landlady looked at me and said, Mr. Jennings, what's happened to you? And I said, I, I climbed the bottom. Why didn't you take the road? Well, get no I, I understand there's a road. You know, so, so they washed my clothes, and they mended them, and, and they loaned me a sweater and some things. Well, they, we know, we got things straightened out, and I had no time left. And I pretty much sat there thinking, why didn't I take the road all night? And I got up in the morning at about 4 a.m. because the ferry was at 5 to go back. And I went and sat down at the corner of the landing of this little place and looked out at Anaba, which is the little satellite island to Gia, and it means the cell. There was a lady once trapped there, and the waves came up and took her away, and they never found her, but there's all sorts of great ghost stories on the island about it. And as I was sitting there, sort of looking out at the island with the sun coming up, this lovely um, woman, I thought, sort of naked, dove into the water and swam away, and I thought, this is really good. I got a little ghost story moment. And then I realized it was a seal. And so I thought, ah. This would be kind of where people think selfie songs. So I wrote a song on the bus on the way back in about an hour called The Sealskin Jacket, and this is it. And uh, if you know it, um, you'll probably know what to do with it. So <coughs> I want to take a sip because it's a long song. 